What's up, people? Got a little stupid video here. Uh, something shitty happened to me, and I came up with a good solution. So I thought I'd pass it on. The other day, I went to stop my truck, and this is what I saw. If you have a key like this, Ford key, it's a three button or whatever there. All right, broken off. Fuck. Luckily, I have a spare. I keep my lunchbox with me at work. So, I was able to start the truck and go home. Okay. Next, I go to the Ford dealer. I say, all right, man. Broken key. Need a new key. They go, all right, you know. Fucking cut your new key. They cut me a new key. Parts guy goes, all right, that's $130. Now, you go upstairs to service, and they're going to bag you for $150 to program it. I went, fucking what? So I get this key from them, all right, nice and new, all cut. Go outside, it turns the ignition, but it don't start the truck. It's got a chip. I hold this next to it, and I'm like, ooh, hold it next to it. Go, I used the chip from the old one. It don't fucking start the truck. Go in and talk to the service manager. He's like, oh yeah, you know, fucking, oh, we got a program from before. We have to reset your vehicle and the keys. Um, it's the only way to do it. And it's our labor or $150. He goes, and I was pissed. Finally, he goes, look, you know, he goes, you're going to make a fucking appointment. I got, I got time for a fucking appointment. I want to get a new fucking key going in my truck. A key. He goes, look. Come in tomorrow before four. After uh, try to get in here before four, I'll get you in, and I'll try to get it done in a half hour. So you only pay a half hour. I was like, all right, you know what, man? That's a better deal. I'll take it. So I go home, and I'm sitting there I'm like, fuck, man. Sorry, this thing has a chip in it. The truck checks the key to see if the chip knows the truck's code. I look at my owner's manual, owner's manual says, yeah, you can program your own spare key, but you need two good keys. So you need your original and your spare original. So you need both of them. And you go through a, a, a thing where you cycle one key on and off in the ignition, take it out. Then I have my other key, cycle the ignition on and off with that. Then you put your new key in, cycle, leave it on, and it programs it. But if you only have one key, which I only had one good key and one new key with a wrong chip and one broken key that won't cycle the ignition, so I can't use it to do that, I'm fucked. I have to go to the dealer to get a program. Thought about it. Fucking like, how can I? I go, let me take the battery out of the fucking new key. So that way it doesn't know the chips in here. And it, I'll hold this fucking broken key next to it, and it uses the chip from the broken key. So I take the battery out of the new one, try it, try it, try it, try it. Fucking thing don't do that. Gives you the error on the, the thing. All right, it's got some magic chip that doesn't use the battery power. Somehow it uses power all the time from, I don't know where it gets power, whatever it does, I don't fucking know. Now I'm laying in bed that night, I'm thinking. Because I'm a cheap fuck. $150, man. You can fuck. I already spent $130, and I'm pissed already. Spend another $150? the fuck out of here. So, I'm like, all right, so it transmits the thing from the truck. Well, how about I shield the key? So, from the magic chip that's always active in there. So, wrap tin foil around your new blank key that's been cut. Wrap the foil around this fucking fob thing there. All right, now you go to your truck. You put in your original key, cycle it on and off. There's all timing to it. Yeah, you can look in your owner's manual. It's like three seconds. You have to have it on, but it has to be less than 10 seconds. Then so you take it out. Then you put your other key, which is, I can't. I'm using this one covered in foil now with this next to it. Now to find out how it worked, all right, I put this in originally, right, with the foil on it and this next to it, and turn the key, the motor didn't start. I turned it this way, I turned it that way, I turned it this way, I flipped it on that side. I finally found a position 
where it works. So that's what you have to do. Once you have the foil on here, you keep trying it to see if your motor starts, which means it'll be picking up the chip in here. This one's shielded by the foil, but it has to be in a certain position for it to pick up the chip in this key. So once you find a position, which I think was something around here, you turn the key, the motor starts. Now you know that it's, it picks up. So you make sure you keep it in that position. So now you go into your, you could go in your owner's manual. I'll tell it real quick. You, you turn this key, the first key, uh, for three, more than three seconds, less than 10, turn it off, pull it out, put in your fucking rigged up one, on for three, um, hold it on for three, and then, but not more than 10 seconds, take it out. Oh, and in between, you have to have at least three seconds to 10 seconds in between, don't change the keys. So then you turn this off, and you take it out, rip the fucking foil off this thing, wait, at least three seconds, but not more than 10 seconds. Put the city ignition, turn it, and leave it. Now it starts to program the motherfucker. And then your, your locks will cycle, a boom, and within six seconds, supposedly, it's programmed. And my locks cycled, and I was like, yeah, take it out. All right, put it back in, new key, blank, they cut. They couldn't be, had to be programmed at the dealer for 150 fucking dollars. Turn the ignition and it works. The chip is programmed. So now your truck thinks you have three keys, which is fine. Uh, I guess they have where well, you have to have two keys to program a new blank so that somebody can't borrow your truck with one key and go out and make a copy. So you have to have both original keys, which is okay, a good idea, but fucking how hard was that to fucking get past? So it's a stupid idea, it's just an inconvenience thing. But anyway, that's how you fix. Your fucking new cut key. Oh, and by the way, you can get these keys online for like 20 bucks. So don't buy it from Ford either. Buy it online and go through the thing. If this ever happens to you, the broken key syndrome on a Ford. I think they run somewhere around 2005 to 2015 or some range on different models of Fords. Transcoder key, whatever the fuck. I don't know. Three button one. The new ones... There's new ones after that, laser cut keys and other shit, I don't know, and then push button stuff. I don't know anything about that stuff. This is bad enough, but this has the trip, the chip in it that works on power with no power. So, luckily, I guess since it's low power like that, the foil is enough to block the signal coming from the truck going into the new key. Because what it was doing is, it'll if it sees the chip from the new key. And this one together like that, it's like you have two keys, it, 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 it'll automatically code out, it won't, it, it even warns you in the owner's manual, don't have two keys on the same key ring when you start the truck, because if it sees two different codes, it will fucking, it has to see just the good code. I don't know if that makes sense, but anyway, you just, it's tinfoil on the fucking new key, and you, you, you go through, the, follow your owner's manual, and that's it. Hopefully, this will save somebody 150 bucks. If this is a common thing that's known on the internet, let me know in the comments, and I'll just delete the video. I thought of it myself. I don't know if it's common. If everybody knows this shit already, I don't know. I I, could, I didn't see it online, so whatever there. Talk to you later, man. Uh, hopefully, the next time I talk to you, it'll be something about more, you know, my usual stuff with the channel, and not me bitching about my 4G. Take it easy, people.